internet back again. Um, bit of a cloudy day today, but not raining, so a day we can do some work on the Tigra. So today, the plan is to take the interior out, clean up all the seats and repair the bolsters as well. It's a typical fault on these where the bolsters and the, the, the foam sags or splits and it's just uncomfortable to get in and out. And the interior is a complete mess, so it's coming out. Let's do it. So yeah, it's exactly what I mean. So you've got a bar here and it, it's just the, the foam it's actually come across. So I'll repair that, that won't be a big problem. The seats are disgusting, so um, yeah, we'll be good. Um, it just needs a really good clean. I mean, look at it, it's absolutely disgusting. But yeah, let's, let's get everything out and uh, see what we're left with. So first task is to get the seats out, as I said. So let's find us a, uh, a bit that works. And that one, and that one. Hmm, all right. And then these, <laughs> that's more like it. There we go, T40 does the job. So that one there is a bit of a pain to get to um, because the handle is in the way. Uh, actually, I could probably pull that off. No, I won't. Um, so the solution, um, put the spanner on it. There you go. So that's that one out. As I say, it was a bit of a pain to get to, but yeah, get yourself a, a ratchet spanner and you can get in there to, to pull it out. Now, while we're at the front, I'm going to take that out. Can we see this? Let's get you in here better. Take that out and then that should just unclip and pop out. But I'm going to need two hands. So there you go. That's got to come out as well. So I'll be honest, this little beggar tricked me. So to get these off, <laughs> I had to look on the internet. I'll be honest. You pull your red tab up there and then slide that out. And it just pops out. It's quite easy when you know how. Oh, this really is disgusting. <laughs> so, right, that bolts out. But I've just noticed quid's in already. Oh, let me get it. Hey! Two pound up. Right, both out of the back there. Um, you saw me took the electrical cable off. So, um, yeah, now it's time to remove seat. Of course, I'm going to need two hands for this, definitely. And there you go, one seat removed. There it is. Um, <laughs> look at this. But on a positive, that's three pound and a penny. I'm up at the moment. Look at that. And um, yeah, lots of dog hair. <laughs> oh God. Right, let's see if we can make an indent on this. That's got the worst up. Let's um, do some scrubbing now, shall we? Get it even better. Well, that is definitely looking a whole lot better. Um, yeah, got the carpet pretty clean. Um, also got uh, the door panel pretty clean as well. This cloth here, got all the, the gunk off it. Uh, cleaned the vine up a bit. And uh, yeah, cleaned the back up a little bit as well. The actual roll bar itself was um, in quite a state. So it a bit of a clean up and, and just generally tidy up really. Um, but it's looking a whole lot better. I mean, considering this, uh, this side's the one I've done, uh, this side is the one I haven't done. Yeah, kind of speaks for itself. Right, next job, gotta get that seat out and pretty much rinse and repeat. But uh, yeah, hopefully by the end of the day, it'll be looking like a, a half decent car. Right, passenger side seat out. What goodies have we got? A bit of wrapper. Some leaves, Ooh, five pence. Ooh, another pound. So I'm five pound and what was it? Six pence up. Hey, oh, and a poppy, look at that. Excellent. Well, the old girl hasn't come up too bad. Nice and clean. 
dashboard all nice and shiny yeah, all clean on the doors yeah not bad not bad at all for an old car well that's beyond me how you can get seat belts so dirty but yeah keep cleaning so that is looking and smelling a whole lot better um got the belts up nice and clean all the interiors all nice and done I put the roof down I've got all the green mold and everything out and it's looking pretty good um it looks like most of its life it's been looked after very well but uh I think the last owner just um yeah didn't clean it <laughs> oh well such is life it's mine now um, so right the next job will be getting the well I'm going to give the car a quick wash let me show you um, just dirty yeah, I haven't washed it since he came here so I'll give the wheels a quick clean and a wash just to see what I'm dealing with um, I will be running the mop over it at some point um, there's a couple of bits and bobs that need sorting out like that um, but it's not that bad just stone chips um, not really took you around the car yet but here it is the wheels are not terrible they're not great but they're not terrible and uh, they have got rash marks on them uh, so it is very dirty just needs a clean but um, yeah I've sort of washed a lot of the stuff off and cleaned all in the in the gaps down there because that's obviously where they go green I remember the Weiss car used to do that quite a lot water sits in there and it just molds um, but yeah it's not looking too bad um, for its age anyway yes it's got some scratches it's got some uh, little dinks but all in all for a car that's what 17 years old it ain't doing too bad right let's give it a wash um, I won't take you through that because that's going to be really boring probably more boring than what this video has been but uh, hey we just got to keep working on it and getting it looking as good as it can right thanks for joining internet I will talk to you soon I thought I was dead.